Hey everybody, today I want to talk to you about some ifs. This is a very useful function. Um, and I have this table of data that I made up for this purpose. And I have a number of dates within this month. I have some colors, uh, cities in, in the UK, quantity and total. So the way a sum if works and a reason you would use it would be, for example, to know all the quantities of red that you've had. So I like to always type in my criteria and the way you would use it is you do a sum ifs, you select your sum range. So this is what we're summing, which in our example here is the quantity and then the criteria range, which is this. And then I select my actual criteria, which I've said is red. And there you have it. I've had... 22 reds. So the good thing about some ifs now is that if you want, you can add more criteria to your function. So say, for example, if I now decide that I want to know all the reds in London, so I want the, the sum of the quantity of total reds and London, I can add London as my criteria as well. And the way I would look at the formula is I select my criteria range two. And now I look for London. So as you can see, now I have the sum of the quantities that are red and London at the same time. So for example, if I want to look at the totals of, for example, the 14th of January 2019, what I would do is I'm looking for the 14th of January 2019 and I would do sum ifs of my sum range which now I want the totals and my criteria range, which are the dates and my criteria, which is this date in particular that I'm looking for. And there you have it. My total would be 30 pounds. Something that you always need to be careful when using this function is the ranges that you select. They always must begin and end in the same row. So you can see, for example, if I make my sum range smaller than my other ranges, so I didn't include row 21, and I do it, I get an error. So if you are getting an error, always make sure that your ranges start and finish on the same place. Let's now add another criteria. For example, I now I am summing um, the totals on the 4th of January 2019, but I just want the London ones. So I would go back. I would do my criteria range are now the cities. And I am looking for London. So there you have it. This is the sum on the 4th of January of London. And there you have it. That's sum. MIFS 101. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you get to use it.